Hold on, something just grew this one. This one just grew, right? Okay, can we cut it down? Oh, we could. Okay. <laughs> what the heck is this? Oh, wait, hold on. What's happening? It's like everything is colored green. This is so weird. But also, the Queen of Sauce has nothing to say about it. Like, today is a mystery. Also, the fortune teller. Oh, everything is out. It's literally like we're having a storm. It's like a slime storm. It's, everything is green. <laughs> Hopefully, our plants are fine. And would you look at that? There's a lot of weeds that just grew inside our farm. All right, this is interesting. Uh, and uh, we just uh, painted. Yeah. <laughs> My kid actually uh, played uh, the game uh, yesterday. And yeah, uh, of course, she painted. She's only like three years old. But is this storm good for our plants? Because it's green. So it could be like it has some, some sort of a... So of course, it's a natural... Uh, I'm not sure if it's a natural calamity or a natural disaster. Uh, oh, wait. We're getting a lot of moss. Ooh, okay. So this green rain produces a lot of moss for us. It's cool. Okay. All right. We have fiber and mosses. So if you notice, guys, uh, the game looks different. I've installed a bunch of mods, mostly aesthetics for the crops and also the earth every color. Also, if you see the icons, they look different. And obviously, they look way, way better. It's not that the vanilla pixel art is bad, it's just that if you enhance something that's already good, it becomes really good. Saw the weather report last night. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what will happen, but if anyone wants to take shelter in the saloon, I'll keep it open all day. Oh, so there's a storm, an unknown storm of some sort. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave our farm because we have some, we have our, our farm animals. I don't want to abandon them. Uh, we'll see about it. But I also want to check out the saloon, what, ev what everyone's going to have experienced due to this storm. But even though there's a storm, look at Robin, she's still working. <laughs> that is hard work for you, but not me. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's just give Robin uh, this spice berry for her hard work. But no, she, she's so busy. Never mind. Okay, hopefully everything is fine. At least our production is not stopping. Fill up some eggs, mayonnaise. Oh, I also installed the auto gate. What to do? Um, well, you know what? At this time, I might want to check out this beach or the uh, mine. But most likely, the most affected part of the valley is the beach, right? Oh, okay, I'll check it out. We'll check it out and uh, maybe uh, do some fishing. Let's see if there are some uh, forageables. Oh, wait, hold on. I, I noticed something. This weed is about to say hi to our plants here. Okay, hopefully they're doing good. Hold on, something just grew. This one? This one just grew, right? Okay, can we cut it down? Oh, we could. Okay. <laughs> what the heck is this? This is so weird. <laughs> oh wait, we got a fiddlehead fern. Oh, it's a fern. All right, nice. A fern. We gotta just clean up everything, guys, before someone gets in trouble with these excessive weeds. It's our job as a forager, as a pro-level forager, clean up everything. And I don't. I'm not sure how come uh, the trees look different. Oh, there's a moss. Okay, let's cut the whole tree. Let's see what happens. Somehow this tree just evolved into something. Looks weird, but looks nice. Ah, uh, there's still wood. Okay. But if you if you try attempt to cut nope no there's no it's still per chance that you get a moss out of a tree oh there you go there's the moss I wonder what we could do with the moss right but right, you guys wait I have an idea if it's raining like this uh, I I wonder there could be someone hiding in the tunnel right let's see if someone is hiding in the tunnel hmm looks like it's empty it's empty the tunnel is empty my bad so uh well before we go to the beach let's just head straight to the forest. Is I'm thinking uh, there, there could be a lot of... Yeah, we need to clean up the mess, man. We need to be a responsible forager. No one does it. Only us <laughs> in this valley. People in this valley just, you know, walk around, talk about their life, not really clean up the mess that's happened here. So it's all up to us. Yeah, as I've, as I've uh, suspected, it seems that there's a lot of weeds that we need to clean up because of this uh, storm. Oh boy, it looks like uh, not only Robin is working at this weather, not only us, also the ca uh, caravan. Ah, oh, nice. Good thing we visited the forest, you guys, because we have this another fiddle fern. And this guy is selling what? Uh, bok choy seeds. What is this, son? Okay, it's uh, like a uh, painting. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, strange looking ferns. It looks like from another world. 
Oh, hold on. We have a loot box. Something just fell, right? Ah, mystery box. <laughs> ah, a blacksmith can open this for you. Who knows what might be inside? <laughs> Looks like Clint's gonna be surprised as well. Whatever is inside that mystery box. Clint, I mean. Did I say Flint or Clint? <laughs> hey. Let me just clean it up. Clean this up, guys. So we have a mossy seed. Okay, we could actually plant. Replant these a alien looking fern plants. I'm not sure if it's a fern or a tree or a banana tree that mutated because of the rain. I'm not really sure. Okay, it's now 4 p.m. All right, I, I still wanted to go to the beach and then the saloon. But I want to clean up this fern first. Because I think this only happens uh, once a year. Oh, we have another mystery box. Not bad. Oh, fiddlehead fern. A young shoots from an edible specialty. Okay, that's nice. Uh, we have this uh, mossy seed. Okay. You know what? These kinds of things, uh, mysterious things that's happening around the valley, the best person to consult to is the... Guess what? I'll go there right now. Guess what, guys? It's the wizard. <laughs> Alright. Oh, looks like he's also affected by it. Ah, he likes this? Okay. Hello, I have something for you, Mr. Wizard, but he's not talking. Okay. Though the unusual rain may be alarming, there is nothing to fear this day. Hmm. All right. I trust your expertise, sir. Wait, hold on. All right, guys. I'm so sorry. I forgot to unmute again. I muted my microphone and then I forgot. It's been a bad habit of me. So what happened is that <laughs> I just picked up this uh, fruit uh, fruit bats in the cave. Uh, we've watered the plants. That's, that's the thing that happened. The usual routine. We've said hi to our little drumsticks here. Uh, I see them as food. I'm so hungry right now. And we have upgraded our coop. Nice. So I think that the next project is to buy more chickens. Because I really want to cap capitalize uh, and make mayonnaise. And so far, it's been very generous to me. And uh, yeah, we've finished. We've uh, exerted all our energy here. Because we fainted yesterday in the middle of a storm. And now we have like, uh, we woke up with only 30% energy. And it just, uh, you know, we just exhausted all our energy watering the plants. So it looks like uh, we need to get a sprinkler as soon as we can. Ah, we have a fiddlehead fern. We have a leftover from yesterday. Good thing no one picked it up. <laughs> hey, Mr. Hats. Let's see uh, if he has new hats available. Watermelon band. This is so cute. And we have here a sweet tea. And <laughs> one and only sweet tea. Uh, and also a spice berry. Paired with a spice berry. We have here who? Elliot? Hey, a gentle remi uh, little sunbeam woke me up. In this morning, I've never felt so refreshed. Oh, you know what? This guy deserves a grape for being so positive. This is for me. Marvelous. I can say that Elliot and Leia is going to be a great pair. Uh, would you look at that, guys? We just delivered a Caroline Quartz. Uh, Willie, another quartz for Willie. And also, we delivered Sweet Pea to our darling Haley. To one of our darling Haley. And also, this cute little girl, Jazz. I love presents. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, are you looking for Aunt Marnie? I think so. Hey, hold on. Are we f that? Oh, haha. We got the purple shirts. You found a lucky purple shirt. Better return it to Mr. Lewis. Hey, look at this, Jazz. I found a purple shirt. <laughs> Hey, Marnie, what's the purple shirt doing in your pot? <laughs> oh my gosh. Marnie is... <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I don't know what is that. <laughs> Another one. What? <laughs> you know what? I want to do something... Uh... Uh, it may look unethical, but this is only a game. Uh, I want to I wanna see what's uh, Jazz's reaction. Okay, wrong person. Oh, hey, concerned, Dave. You are really concerned, right? <laughs> Even in a game, you have limitations. Especially to these, those, those kind of things. I was just, I really uh, appreciate. Uh, we have here, uh, Leia. Hello, Leia. You want some egg? I have a golden egg for you. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. I guess everyone in town was scared of that strange rain. I had no idea. I just thought it was incredible. <laughs> you are built different, Leia. You're built different. And we found a bread in a bin. Okay, what was I supposed to do again? It's already like 7 p.m. Oh, we'll just head straight to... Let's see what we could... Uh, what we have here. So, for Harvey, 
we need to bring Harvey a red snapper. Okay. Uh, we need to bring us a apricot, um, large bath, large mouth bass, green slime defeated four. Oh, okay. What's happened here? Oh, okay. Robin wants wheat and, uh, Shane likes prismatic shard. What are you going to do with this strange shard? Uh, Shane. Okay. Looks like, uh, no, I can't do those things yet. Uh, why not? Let's, let's show Abigail the purple shorts. Show everyone why not, right? Oh, okay. Looks like Abigail is having a good time <laughs> playing video game. Snack, you scared me sneaking into my room like that. Hey, so I've been playing Journey of the Prairie King for hours. I can't even beat the first level. Oh, it's like me when I try to play Sekiro. That's one of the uh, Souls like game that was a uh, game of the year last 2019 i think i tried like 20 times just to beat the boss the first very very first boss <laughs> this game is ridiculously hard well either that or i'm just terrible at it hey do you want to try this level together with me i think i might do better with your help okay okay cool abigail i'm the guy i'm the guy for this i've been playing prairie king since 2016 i haven't really <laughs> i haven't really beaten the game yet that's how 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 good i am you know quality achievements takes time right so you have to be very patient with it okay let, let's get it here okay oh careful careful darling abigail careful my darling you're doing great doing great to your left to your right just don't move too much just find the angle the perfect angle like this and then let the enemy go okay but in this case stay near the bomb and then if the bomb is about to go out you can use the bomb or for emergency cases and if you have this one stay in the middle and then there you go and then stay here at the side i think this is the best uh, part where you could position yourself and just just make sure to hit the, the 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 guys that is really straight going to your side okay you're doing great you're doing fine okay stay near the bomb all right the bomb is about to go out there you go uh <laughs> hey we did it nice yeah we did Ah, <laughs> uh, that was fun it's always fun to play video games with other people, right? Especially the ones that you care about. Well, thanks, Snap. You seem to really know your way around a joystick, huh? I guess that makes sense. Yeah, because I'm used to working in the farm. My joystick is my uh, my plow and my scythe and my axe. That's how cool or good I am. But how about this? I'm going to show you something cool. Okay, wrong person. Aha, uh -huh, let's go straight to Mr. Mayor. Hey, guys, I'm going to show you something. Look at this. Oh. He's not interested. And then he just saw us. Yuck. <laughs> hey, Mr. Mayor, how you doing, sir? Okay, we have a cutscene. Oh, uh, hello there, Snack. I was just loading some more prizes into this machine here. It's a new program I've come up with to help promote a spirit of goodwill among the town folks, you included. It's pretty simple. Sometimes with new help out there in the town, you'll receive a prize ticket. You can turn them in for rewards. There's some special stuff in there. Nice. My only worry is that people will just go after the tickets rather than cultivating a true compassion for their fellow man. Yes, totally makes sense. It's gonna be, it's instead of turning it into, you know, uh, cultivating a true compassion, it will turn into a competition. Yep, I'm in it for the prizes. Not really. I just want to help. Is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> Mr. Mayor is trying his best. At any rate, keep checking the help wanted board in town. That's a good way to get your hands on more tickets. Ah, all right. Good luck out there. Hmm, we have a ticket. Well, let's see what... Hey, Mr. Mayor, I know you have a... Oh, uh, there it is. Nice, nice, okay. Mr. Mayor, I have something for you. You found them. Where? Uh, <laughs> there? I have no idea how they could have gotten there. <laughs> Maybe just picked it up somewhere. <laughs> you pooped... You pooped in your Marnie's place. You forgot your pants and just, just, just picked it up. <laughs> This stays between you and me. Got it? Okay, okay. I know, Mr. Mayor. I don't want to go. I don't want to go to your bad side. I hear some some strange things about you. 
I don't really know yet. I haven't gone far to that to that storyline yet, but we'll see. Now it's 8:30 p.m. Uh, let's go to to the beach, to the empty beach. Oh, there's a one coral. Not not. Oh, there you go. To the beach with one coral. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's just end the the. It's gonna be the perfect time to end the day with fishing. Hey, a chest and a fish. Nice, and we got it perfectly. A halibut and aha, a geod and a deluxe bait. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, uh, uh, please, no, this guy. I not. I think that guy is an octopus. All right, guys, that's cool. Oh, a sea jelly, not bad for our last catch. Well, it looks like we uh, we used all our bait. We'll just head straight. Yeah, we'll just head straight home. Let's do some quick inventory. Okay, and the rest is going straight to uh, the bin. Wait, I want spice berry. I'm gonna give it to to my friends in Pelican Town. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Help me out, grow the channel, and for more videos, you can look at the lower screen. And may we always walk with patience and kindness because that is what love is. Jesus loves you and uh, see ya.